Oh YouTubes! Welcome back Haunt Fam. Today I've got these last two nutcrackers left over. I want to take one of these guys I want to make a scarecrow. I don't have a scarecrow in my little uh, creepy uh, nutcracker family yet. So we're going to bust one of these guys down and make him a scarecrow. Okay YouTubes, we're down to two. I was looking at suggestions for my last Bride of Frankenstein build, and uh, Devil's Gate Cemetery has suggested a pumpkin rot scarecrow, and I don't think I can do pumpkin rot, but we can definitely do a scarecrow. So I think I'm going to use this guy. Uh, this guy will save for maybe another one or maybe next year. I think I'm going to move to a scarecrow. Um, I like to hollow out his head. Let's go ahead and break him down. Let's see, first and foremost, pow, get rid of that nose. We're not going to need that. Uh, I want to get rid of this piece of hat he had, some kind of football helmet or something at one time. Well, that was super easy, and that's why I don't like using hot glue. All right, so we got a peg in the top of his head where his little helmet was on or whatever. All right. Now his little football's got to go. Oh, man, that was even barely on. Look at that. Right in the junk. All right, Mr. Football. All right, we're going to take his arms off. I'm going to reuse his arms. I actually like the way his arms look. And I like that bend in them, so I think what I'm going to do is drill out the sides. Uh, I'll go back to quarter inch, and I'll use a dowel. So I'm going to cut a little dowel here. I'll re-peg his arms on, but I'm going to peg him like this, so his arms are sort of hanging like a like a scarecrow. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think we're going to use his base. I think I'm going to pick a, a wider base. I don't want to use even use really use the legs. That one's a little too fancy for a scarecrow. Uh, I think I kind of like this one. Let's go with this base. So this will be his new base. I'm not sure how we'll decorate that yet. Um, let's see. we got to make sure he's functional. Get rid of that little Van Dyke. Well, that was easy again. Hot glue. Okay. Well, this is going faster than I thought. Okay. So I think he's going to end up being on this base. Let's uh, get rid of his uh, base. All right. Almost hurt my base. All right. So I think my plan is... I'm going to put him on a pole. I'm going to cut his legs off and make them look like they're dangling, but I want him up in the air. So I think I'm going to take an old, uh, I got this old, like, square wooden stake, whatever. I think what I'm going to do is widen this out in the back, and I'm going to make this the stake, and then I'll plant it into the base. So let me get a marker. I'll cut a length off. And again, I'm just going to use a little miter saw, no power tools. Um, these are real easy and real fun. So... I think I'll put this little post in the ground, move them back a little bit, give them a good center. So I'll drill that out, then I'll cut a section of this off, put them up so high. We're going to keep that. All right, not too bad. All right, so we're definitely going to keep the mouth functional. I think we're going to give him a pumpkin head. Uh, I want to whack his legs off and leave him hanging like at odd angles, so probably right around here somewhere. And then I'll have him kind of uh, hovering up on the ground. I haven't done one like that yet. So, we got his arms, we're going to cut his legs off, and I think what I also want to do is, I want to hollow out the top of his head. I want to make him a pumpkin head, so I think I'm going to use a spade bit, drill through that, and kind of hollow out the top of his head. Let's do that and see if I can't uh, hollow out his melon some. Just use that little spade bit, and again, this is an uh, inch and a half. There we go. Okay, so that'll be our base. Mark this as the front. And I'm going to do some quarter inch holes, put his arms back on. We'll do that last, not a big deal. All right, let me see if I can get his uh, head hollowed out here. Boy, that's going to be a freaking mess. Okay, YouTubes, I went ahead and put him in the bench vise as he was jerking around all violently. That's about the top of his head now, so you got a nice little bowl in there, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to end up stripping all the features off his face. It's not going to matter. I want to put a nice little jack-o'-lantern face on him. We're going to give him a pumpkin head. I'm going to stand up top, level that off. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, I definitely want to lose his legs. I'm just going to put him in my little uh, box saw and cut him off We're probably right above the knees just so that he's got some dangling feet. So I'm going to go ahead and knock his feet or knock his legs off of him. And when we come back, we're going to work on that pumpkin face. 
Okay, YouTubes, here's what we got to start with again. Uh, went ahead and drilled out his arms. I'll end up using just a little piece of quarter inch rod to put his arms back on. I got his arms drilled out too, so they'll have that cool little uh, hanging angle. So that's how I'll peg both of his arms back on. And we'll save those probably yeah, for last. So his arms are good to go. Uh, we hacked off his legs, so uh, Johnny Football's a couple of games shy of the Super Bowl. We'll leave his little stubby legs hanging down. I like that look. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is take the post. I'm gonna notch out the back right here and that'll hold him. I'll put a screw through it later on when I get the right height. So in the base, all I do is go ahead and I drilled a couple of little holes out. I'll hog that out with the die grinder and I'll put the base in there for his little post. So that way his base will be done. We can decorate it however. I think the last thing I'm gonna do is just put a couple of eye holes in him. Um, we're gonna sculpt the head on him, which is Sculpey Clay. He's wooden, so we can throw him in the oven. So I definitely wanna make a couple of eye holes for him. We have to go bigger than what we're gonna be. So probably something like that. Uh, we'll give him a little nose hole. I think I'm gonna leave his mouth as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these out. Uh, he's basically prep. I'm gonna sand him down, get all most of the paint off of him, kind of get him shaped a little bit. And when I come back, we're gonna be ready to uh, sculpt the pumpkin face on top of him and throw him in the oven, and that'll be our head for him. Okay, you two. So it's been a minute. Uh, I got a little uh, rock crow scarecrow to be here. I got them all ground down, wire wheeled them. I found this little cap, which I'm going to use as a base for a hat. It was like off of a paper roll or something like that. Uh, I kind of hogged out his eyes a little bit. His uh, mouth still works. I got a little limiter in there. I just glued a little paint stick inside to keep his mouth open at a certain level. So I think we're ready to start working on this guy's head. I've got some... Uh, Bacon Bond, I've got some Super Sculpey Original. I love this stuff, it's kind of my preferred stuff. I like the flesh color. Um, I think what we're gonna do is start skinning his head. So I'm gonna pour out a little bit of uh, Bacon Bond. This will just help the, uh, the clay stick to the head. That way he doesn't wanna crack off later. So I'm gonna put that there. I got a little brush. And we're just gonna coat the whole head all the way around. Like I said, this will help the clay stick. Won't want to make it pull off. It ain't got to be pretty. You won't see it anyways. Okay, so we're all glued up. I've got some uh, Sculpey kind of rolled out with one of my little bottles here. I really don't have a roller yet, so I just want to kind of stretch this out. I'm going to cover his head. And I just want to mash it down and basically cover his whole head and go into the top of the ring too. In fact, I think I'm going to do this because I don't want his mouth to be, I want his mouth to be stationary. I'm going to go ahead and just tape his mouth shut for now until we get through this. That'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap his whole head in Sculpey and we'll come back when I start doing some details on this guy. Okay guys, so I basically got his head covered in clay. I kind of got it smoothed out. Again, I'm just pulling the edges up and just smashing my finger. It ain't got to be pretty. I got his uh, chin kind of built up a little bit with some clay. I'm going to have to be careful with that. Uh, I've never done clay on a head before like this. So I'm going to have to watch that and check that before I bake it to make sure it's okay. And I left a little inverted hat in there so the details wouldn't fall through while we're uh, sculpting on them. So I think I want to give them, you know, uh, Pumpkin Rot has a lot of that classic old school style of pumpkin but creepy. So I think I want to give them kind of like a skull-like nose. Something like that. And I'll probably build up on it a little bit. I want to make them creepy. It's going to be hard to do Pumpkin Rot on a on a uh, nutcracker. And for his eyes, I think I most definitely want to do triangles, like old school triangles. And then I'll tuck those back in. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and build up around his eye a little bit to give him some like expression. And I generally, generally, I tend to uh, keep clay in my left hand while I'm working to kind of keep it smooth and warm in my hand. So I need it, I can just pull it out. So I think I'm gonna do something like that. And I'm going to put some uh, wrinkles in there. And i got to figure out teeth. I think I'm going to do like uh, jagged teeth. I'm just going to put a little piece of clay there. I want this guy to be totally freaking evil. So I'm going to smooth all that in. So I'm going to go ahead and play with him for a little bit. See if I can't get his upper lip done. And maybe his eyes dialed in. And then we'll take a look at him. We'll come back. Okay, so I'm working on his eyes. I really like the shape of the eyes. I'm just kind of blending those... Uh, bony ridges in. I put a bunch of little worms on here. We're going to make those wrinkles in his forehead. I'm just going to smooth those in. Bring those in. There we go. I want that high extra ridge. Okay. Push that nose up a little bit. Alright. 
I even like the red behind it. I think we're going to light this guy up too. Uh, I've never done that with a nutcracker, so I'm going to go ahead and work on his eyes, get his forehead finished, and then I'm going to jump on that mouth. Alright guys, so uh, I got his eyes pretty well sorted out. They're kind of roughed in. I'm happy with his nose. I'm kind of adding teeth right now, making sure that my bottom jaw still clears. And I'm just grabbing clay, kind of making a gaping maw, and then just rubbing it in. And then I'll trim it back as I need it. I want to keep this kind of nice and rough and scary. And the end will smooth it all out. I'll just bring this up here like cheekbones. Okay, smooth that out. I'm going to blend that tooth in a little bit so I can make sure everything clear so I can do something with that bottom lip too. So far I'm going to keep at it. This tooth's got to come out it looks like. And uh, I think I'm going to add some extra clay up here. Kind of build the teeth up a little bit. Because I still got to put those uh, stripes in his head like a pumpkin would have. And then I'll dig those out with a color shaper. And they could just be random. Not perfect. Alright, then I'll dive back in. Where's my wooden tool? And for these guys, I'll just trench in. Alright guys, so he's pretty close. I got the top pretty well done, I think. Pretty happy with it. I've got the uh, bottom teeth in. I'm trying to make it clear right now. So I'm just kind of smoothing those guys out. And blending them in, I'm going to make little trenches down here to make it look like the bottom of the pumpkin line. So I'm going to mess with this bottom jaw. Uh, I think I'm going to smooth all this out. I'm going to hit it with clay softener. I'm going to throw this guy in the oven. We come back. We're going to start working on his arms and legs. And the top half of this guy will be done. While our uh, scarecrow body is in the oven baking, I want to go ahead and start working on his limbs. I've already popped all the limbs off as you guys seen. I took his legs and shaved them down, drilled holes in the bottom. Uh, we went ahead and took a standard base. I just torched the base and beat the hell out of it so it doesn't have any paint or anything. It's exactly what it looks like after being torched. I'm going to use this uh, surveying stick. It's like an oak stick that I kind of beat up a little bit. This will be the post the scarecrow sits on. And I got a screw that goes right into the back of them so I can adjust them, take them off, and make it smaller for storage. So our scarecrow will sit up there. And I got his arms. These are the arms I did. I went ahead and ground everything off, knocked the paint off like I did. And I made some fingers. Like, you know how pumpkin rots, uh, scarecrows have the really long, gnarly fingers? And I just used dollar store uh, shish kebab skewer sticks is all they are. So I just drilled out holes and drilled them in. I glued them into place, and then I just bent them with a pair of pliers and broke them. And I put a coat of crazy glue over everything. So he's got those nice, gnarly, long fingers. But I don't want to paint these things. I want to keep kind of a natural look. So I figured, hey, let's torch all his limbs. And then I want to take some of these bones and cut them off. And I'm going to insert them into the bottom of his legs. And then we're going to work on his arms and legs. Put some uh, creepy cloth on them. Put some glue on there. And start getting this guy dressed. So let's go ahead and uh, fire the torch up. And we'll start blackening out them uh, arms and legs. There we go. Grab it by his peg. And I just want to black everything out. I don't even think we'll put any paint on this guy, except for the head and the body. Okay, YouTubes, so we're all uh, torched. We had some casualties, but I kind of actually like it. Burnt some of the fingers off, those bamboo burns up. Uh, the bamboo sticks burn up pretty damn fast. Got his legs blacked out. I went ahead and took some of those dollar store bones. I snipped them off. I'm going to glue these ends in here so it looks like a little bone sticking out. I thought that'd be pretty cool for a pumpkin rocked uh, scarecrow. And then I'm going to glue his arms into his body. And we got to start getting him dressed, I think. Uh, make a little shirt for him. I went ahead and hit the thrift store again. Get that E6000 in there. I'll swish it around. All right, that's cool. Uh, I found a nice little uh, flannel shirt. If you're doing a scarecrow, even if you're doing a pumpkin rock style scarecrow, you got to have flannel. All right, there's this other little bony leg sticking out. Okay, his arms are done. Uh, let's go ahead and take the body. I've got him out of the oven. I went ahead and blacked him out with the torch too, so he's good to go. I think we can go ahead and glue the arms on, and we'll work on the arms. we got to put some, uh, uh, some branches and stuff on there, some creepy cloth. I got this uh, later in the year from the dollar store after Halloween. It was clearing, so it's like a bunch of little sticks and a big long thing. I don't know what you do with them, but uh, oh, some kind of mushroom or leaf or something right there. So we're going to use some of these on him. Oh, I get some creepy cloth out, so let's go ahead and I'm going to do his legs separately and then I'll just glue his legs in after they're wrapped. Okay, YouTubes, so our scarecrow is back on his post. I got the post just jammed in there now, it's not glued. I've got the screw uh, in 
and I've got a little bit of an angle cut at either top so I can kind of tilt him whichever way I want, depending on how you just want to display him. So he's out of the way for now. I want to go ahead and glue his legs up. So I've got this uh, dollar store stick bundle I bought. I've got a bunch clipped off. And I've got, uh, in the summertime, you buy those little hula skirts from the dollar store. Looks like little raffia grass, whatever. So I want to use some of this. And I want to use some of the sticks for our scarecrow legs. So my plan is, for both the legs and the arms, I want sticks sticking out past the end, because uh, once I get everything, the arms and legs wrapped, we're gonna paint that thing, because then we gotta start getting him dressed. So my plan is to go ahead and take some E6000. I'm just gonna run it all over this uh, little burnt limb here, little nubby gnarled limb. Okay, this is my little brush. Brush this all on. Get it ain't gotta be perfect. That's why I didn't want to paint the legs. You probably won't see them anyways. All right, I want to take some of these little sticks. Place them on his uh, little nubby limb. I think I want to go down past his bone at all different levels. That's kind of a heavy one. All right. And then I want to take some of this raffia grass and poke that in there too. There we go, like so. So I'm gonna wrap some sticks, some raffia grass. I wanna make some fake, uh, creepy looking uh, pumpkin rot legs for them. And then I'm gonna take some baling wire and some creepy cloth, got a whole bunch of extra creepy cloth to wrap around there and get his legs done and his arms done. So we come back, his legs and arms will be wrapped, we're ready to paint that uh, pumpkin face up. Okay, YouTubes. So I got his legs and arms basically done. I got all the little sticks and a little bit of creepy cloth glued on there, tied in. I'm pretty happy with them. I went ahead and painted the inside of his uh, head yellow so it'll reflect the light when we stick the light in there. I think now I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the whole outside of his face. I got a little bit of green too. I'll probably do a little green wash in between. Maybe put a little dirt on him. But uh, he's getting close. I think I'm gonna finish my paint because this is basically all we're painting is just the head. And then we gotta make him some coveralls. We gotta make him a hat. We gotta do some last little tweaks on him, and we're gonna call this guy done, man. We'll do have our little pumpkin rot uh, scarecrow. Okay, YouTube. So while paint was drying, I started working on a little hat for this guy. He's got the uh, that little red cap I took that I put inside to block the clay from falling in. I cut the edge off. And I glued it, super glued it to a little piece of uh, just regular craft foam so it fits on his head like so. It'll just poke down in there. Uh, I got to go ahead and round it off and uh, I'm going to distress a little bit. And we're going to put that light and we're going to hide it inside his hat. So this is a little battery operated tea light. It's on a four hour timer. You kick it on, it runs for I think six hours and shuts itself off. So my plan is to go ahead and use this, or probably just this. I'll poke a hole in there poke this down in there, and then I'll build a little brim for the hat, wrap clay or wrap uh, foam around it, and that'll be his hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and distress his hat, but first, before we do the hat, because we don't need that till last, I decided we gotta go to a flannel shirt for this guy. So I hit up the dollar, or the uh, thrift shop, and I found a polo shirt. Has a pretty cool uh, red and kind of fall pattern I thought was pretty cool. So I thought, all right, cool. This will be our shirt for our scarecrow. Gotta have flannel if you're a scarecrow. So we'll get some clothes on him, finish his hat, and we'll get the light on and see what he looks like. So I want to do a nice shredded shirt on this guy. Um, same thing, I'll probably do a little bit more uh, bailing wire, maybe tuck a few more sticks in, I don't know. But I want to do a little uh, shirt over him. So I think I'm a little bit long. Again, just got to be freaking uh, shredded. So that's cool, we'll go like this. Okay, so I'll do sort of a smock style. Got to cut a hole for his head. Let's do this. Okay. Something like that. Get a little bit of a shirt on top. And I can always cut bigger if I need to. But I thought it was a cool pattern. And I wanted more of a muted color, so I didn't want anything super bright for the guy. So yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and shred the hell out of this. Okay, YouTubes, I've been working on the Scarecrow. I got his shirt done out of a sleeve of that uh, Thrift Shop store shirt. I'm pretty happy with them. I got it shredded as much as I can. I went ahead and finished off his hat too with just uh, craft foam. I went ahead and put the uh, little tea light 
inside so I can turn it on by just lifting the flap so it looks like Uncle Jed. There you go, and off. So his hat fits, all I gotta do is uh, distress it a little bit, maybe put some patches on it or something like that, dirty it up because it's way too clean. Um, so his hat will sit on his head, and a little ring will hold it in place. Get in there. Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and take the final stretch. It's gonna be this craft foam. I'm gonna make a little jumper for them, like a coveralls, and I'm gonna put some uh, straps on them. I think I'm gonna uh, shred the bottom so that way it looks like all his legs and stuff are hanging out. Maybe I'll put some more hay and straw coming through. So, got a little bit more to go on this guy. Gotta finish up his hat. I got one little surprise for his arm. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this foam to where it goes around him. Okay, it's right about there. Okay. It should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to put a little pocket in the center. Find out how far down his chin goes. Okay, he's bottomed out right there. All right, I got to clean this damn bench. There's freaking shirt stuff everywhere. All right, guys. I got him off of his stand. I needed to take him off because I got to wrap his overalls around the back. I got his little overalls like this. I'm going to go ahead and glue everything and wrap it around the back. These will be his straps. I'm going to put some decorative tacks right here in the front. And uh, I'm going to put them in a center bib pocket. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue some uh, more raffia grass to the back to make it look like uh, more stuffing is coming out of his chest. And uh, I'm going to finish these things up. Okay, YouTubes, our little pumpkin rot style scarecrow is done. I went ahead and finished off his coveralls. Uh, I just raked the hell out of him with the uh, wire brush, the same as his hat. His hat is actually two pieces. I used that same little plastic ring to make that the little guide on his hat. I put a little skull button on here that I had sculpted when I did his little crow on the shoulder uh, when I did his head. So I sculpted a crow and then I got a little extra button on there. I've got the light hiding in here. So you just reach into the top of the hat and turn the light on. If the tea light ever burns out, I can always replace the battery from the top so it's no big deal. So his hat is actually two pieces. And I just poke that in there and stick it on his head. So. He's basically done. I got, like I said, I made a little crow for his shoulder. I got everything shredded. I went ahead and went over everything when I was done with the heat gun to kind of open up them seams. I used some of the uh, embroidery paint to go ahead and make like muck and mud on him. So that was pretty easy. And then at the end, I hit him with a uh, coat of glossy wood tone just to bring down that shine. You know, pumpkin rot's work is uh, real dark and kind of washed out, so I didn't want any super bright colors on him. And then after I hit the, washy, the glossy wood tone, I went ahead and put a coat of uh, nice dirt spray over everything. And then I went ahead and sealed everything up with a uh, matte clear, so he's all locked down. And uh, I'm pretty happy with him. I mean, he's got his little hat. I can reach in there and turn his light on. But he's uh, all distressed out. If I want to break him down for storage, I could just take the screw out of his post in the back and he's good to break down. Uh, I did not even glue his post and it fits so tight I just left him. And because he's kind of adjustable, I can put him at a little angle if I want, whatever. I let him rock on the little stand. So uh, I'm really happy with him, man. Let's, uh, let me kill the lights and I'll show you guys what he looks like with the light on in his head. Okay guys, lights are out. I got the little tea light on. And again, that's a four hour tea light I got off of Amazon. All I gotta do is turn it on, it shuts off, I think, think in six hours, it's a six hour tea light. But that's what he looks like. Let's go ahead and open his mouth some. There we go, check him out now. And again, his mouth is still functional. I made sure the clay cleared everything. But man, I think he's super cool, man. He looks, it looks super cool that he's lit up and he's in the dark. So let me find the lights. All right, there he is. But that, is my version of a pumpkin rot scarecrow, sort of mixed of my style and uh, and pumpkin rot style. I want to go ahead and thank uh, Mark over at Devil's Gate Cemetery who kind of gave me the uh, idea. He put it down in the comments with one of my leftover scarecrows, so I was pretty happy with him. He's not exactly pumpkin rot, but I think he kind of fits the bill, and he definitely fits with the rest of my creepy uh, creepy nutcrackers. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed my little version of uh, Pumpkin Rot Scarecrow. Uh, I'm going to stick him with the rest of my little nutcrackers and stuff. He turned out pretty cool, I think. Uh, he definitely looks pretty nasty. Uh, like, again, thanks to Mark over Devil's Gate Cemetery for the suggestion. Uh, if you guys get a chance, go check my brothers in a trio of terror. 
Uh, Dave at the Weird Kids Show channel and Vic over at Monster Misfits. Guys, we're doing Halloween all year long. It never stops for us. Uh, we live stream on Monday nights on Facebook if you guys are interested. And uh, if you guys are doing props and, and uh, projects, we want to see them, man. Post them on uh, Cobwebs and Candlesticks on Facebook. I'll put the... Uh, the link in my description as always and uh, come over there and check us out and share your project with us man like it's uh, pre-season and Halloween's a coming so we gotta get busy and get cracking we got a lot of stuff to do so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching I hope you dig my little scarecrow until I see you again keep it evil